Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be checking out Brooklyn's version of Central Park. It's called Prospect Park. It was actually created by the same makers of Central Park, Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Voss. And I'm joined with two of my friends today, James and Teresa, who will be showing me around. Hi. So right now we're gonna start in the northern part of the park. There's a formal entrance known as the Grand Army Plaza, which is where we are right now. You pass by the Bellies Fountain, and afterwards you make your way through this really elegant arch. It's called the Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Arch, and you make your way into Prospect Park. So on Saturdays um, here in uh, Brooklyn, we have the city's second largest farmer's market uh, here at Grand Army Plaza at the top of Prospect Park, which is kind of a big neighborhood uh, gathering space. You always see like city councilmen and like people running for office and like people raising money and musicians. And it's a good place to buy food. All right guys, so we just got to Prospect Park. Uh, we are inside the park right now. We are at the Long Meadow, which goes on for over a mile. Uh, very relaxed. Yeah, I love Central Park, but one of the things I like about Prospect Park is that Prospect Park always kind of feels a little bit more down to earth. There's not a lot of tourists. It's more like people who live in Brooklyn enjoying the outdoors on their weekend, playing games, picnicking, and running around with kids. It's like got a kind of chill vibe. So behind me here is the boathouse. You can actually rent a fishing rod right behind me here. Although it is a catch and release program, so don't try to take any of the fish with you or you will get a probably about $120 summon. So definitely not worth it. One of the things I really love about Prospect Park is that you can find a lot of hidden gems uh, like this waterfall right here um, that you might not necessarily think are in the park uh, because of its city surroundings. So especially in the summer, Prospect Park offers a bunch of free programs that you can do. They actually have this pop-up Autobahn behind me and they have fishing rods if you want to go fishing. They also have a, a bird watching program and, and informational walks. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, it's something you, you can do right here in Prospect Park. Turtle! Getting ready for Mardi Gras. This green is a naturally occurring plant in the, in the pond. It's called duckweed. It's kind of like little tiny lily pads. The reason it's so extensive right now is because the pond suffers from a lot of nutrient pollution, mostly nitrogen and phosphorus, which just comes from like urban runoff, stuff that's in the air, air traffic overhead. So you could sort of say the plants are converting the, the nutrient pollution into plant matter. So because Olmsted and Vox built both Central Park and Prospect Park, there are definitely a lot of similarities. One of them being the children's corner, which is what we just arrived to. You can see there is this very old carousel behind us. So the carousel was built in 1912 and features 53 horses along with, I believe, some giraffe, uh, deer, and even two uh, dragon pole chariots. Ooh, is there an age limit? Because I might ride if there's no age limit. I don't know, let's check it out. All right. <laughs> Who says you're too old to ride a carousel? Not us! <laughs> also like Central Park is the fact that there is a zoo. We are going to take a quick stroll through the Prospect Park Zoo. peacocks are actually mostly brown. They do have some of the blue and turquoise coloring that you see from a peacock, but um, for the most part, they're much plainer than their uh, male counterparts.
It's definitely not a big zoo, but if you have kids, uh, they'll definitely get a kick out of it. They have a lot of cool animals. Uh, one of my favorites was the red panda. But yeah, if you have an afternoon with kids, I'd say the Prospect Park Zoo is a good spot to stop by. So another similarity that Prospect Park has to Central Park is the body of water behind me here called the lake. To me it's very similar to the pond in Central Park if you've been here, but it's, it's a great spot to camp out, have a little picnic, hang out by the water. So behind me here is the band shell. It's where the Celebrate Brooklyn concert series takes place. They have all sorts of different artists. Sometimes it's big name people, people like Bob Dylan, Talib Kweli, the Blue Man Group, Nora Jones have all performed here. But then again, you also have emerging artists, so you can see them before they come big. Olmsted and Vox, the creators of this park, after the success of Central Park, really were given a lot more resources to create the type of park that they wanted, to see their vision through. And you really see that with the symmetry of this park. It's broken into three sections, a long meadow, which is like a grassy area, a wooded area, which is actually a native forest here in Brooklyn, and a giant lake, which is like the watery part of this park. It's, it's definitely a community-oriented place, and uh, it's way less touristy than Central Park. And I gotta say, it, it was a lot of fun checking it out. So you never know what you're gonna experience walking here in New York. I, we met this awesome, super nice Sudanese family we just wanted a shot for the barbecue just to show that you know things are going on here at the barbecue and they were like no you, you gotta have a hot dog you gotta have something to eat see guys this is the brooklyn hospitality i came over they offered me food that's good people good people nothing brings people together like a new york hot dog so very true they gave hot dogs hot dogs to complete strangers they're cheers cheers well guys, that's all for this video. This is just a quick tour of Prospect Park. I'm sure there's plenty that we missed. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Plus you can click the bell to stay up to date on all my new content. Thanks to James and Teresa for helping out with this video. <laughs> I'm Robbie Frank, safe travels. And as always, we'll catch you next time.